Your SSD might be fast, but without a heatsink, it's one stop away from turning into a toaster. And no slapping on metal isn't enough. People mess this up all the time. In this video, I will show you how to install an SSD heatsink correctly. So let's do this. Okay, let's break it down. Your SSD gets hot, especially NVMe generation 4.1. When it gets too hot, it slows down. That's called thermal throttling. The SSD protects itself by going slower when you need speed the most. What you will need? Your SSD, obviously. A compatible heatsink, don't cheap out there. A screwdriver, usually a tiny Phillips. A brain, <laughs> just kidding, sort of. Step by step installation. Turn off your PC and unplug it. Remove your SSD if it's already installed. Peel off the plastic from the thermal pad. You would be surprised how many people skip this and wonder why their SSD is overheating. Stick the thermal pad on the chip side of the SSD. That's where the heat happens, the controller and NND flash. Don't slap pads all over the bag unless the heatsink is built for that. Mount the heatsink carefully. Some clip, some screw on, some use rubber bands. Follow the design. Don't press it like you are closing a suitcase. <laughs> Gentle but firm. Put the SSD back into the M.2 slot and screw it down. Make sure it clicks into place before tightening. Power on and check temperature. Use crystal disk info or even your BIOS. Ideal temp should drop significantly, sometime up to 20% lower. Common problem. Here is the most common mistake. People slap the heatsink on with all the factory stickers and film is still there, which works as a heat barrier. So yeah, it's a simple upgrade, but if done wrong, it can ruin your SSD's performance. Peel the plastic, place the pad on the chip side, and make sure your heatsink isn't just for look. Want to know how to install an RGB heatsink on an NVMe SSD? Watch this video, and thanks for watching.